nation. Go, it's been good. ordained by the Most High God. Man, this goddamn. Oh, there you go. Just like y'all believe in that immaculate shit. conception bullshit. Shit, they're gonna have an immaculate destruction. America's recovery is just that same type of shit. It's like a fairy tale. It's the end of this place. Hey, go go ahead. This goes into that. Actually, read that. Matthew 10 and 5. Matthew's 10 and 5. These 12 Yahweh sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles. So people are always talking about what y'all all about. This is the mission statement right here. Actually, this is the what this is what the Lord commanded us to do. When he got the disciples together and was ready to send them on a mission, this is that mission right here. That's where you get the word missionary. Because a true missionary is a man of the Lord. We're, we're, we're a real missionary. You know what I'm saying? Not them faggots you see on TV going over to Thailand. Still money. Yeah, they good at molesting children too. Mm -hmm. They like to go over to the little third world countries because you can molest children over there all day. You never get in trouble like in Thailand. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and keep, uh, read that again. Matthew 10 and 5. These 12 Yahweh Shai sent forth and commanded them saying, go not into the way of the Gentiles. Stay away from the heathens, keep going. And into any city of the Samaritans Enter ye not. He gone? But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And that's who we out here teaching. And we only come for the Israelites. And on top of that, we only the Lord is only dealing with the elected Israel. Okay? He ain't even coming to save all the Israel right, right away. Okay? Right now, we only worried about the elect. If you ain't part of that 144,000, we don't give a shit about you, man. I mean, we don't, there's nothing we can do for you. You know what I'm saying? We are here to teach the elect. The only elect is gonna wake up and fully understand it's true. You got more than that? You going? And as ye go, preach saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Keep going. Oh, yeah. actually, my fault, that's a good point. Like your, like, uh, like the brother said earlier when we first started the tape. He told y'all America's gonna be destroyed. That, that's the same thing this is saying. He said the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For the kingdom of heaven, the, 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 the coming existence on the earth, this world right here got to be destroyed. You can't have the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of Satan going on at the same time. That would mean that we ain't in the kingdom, okay? So for, for, for the kingdom of heaven to commence, America and all this the ways of this filthy ass world got to be destroyed, man. They gotta be destroyed by fire. And the Lord, the Lord gonna burn it with fire. You know what I'm saying? Because you got you, because the old age is gonna die. And we're gonna go into a new age, a new age of righteousness. Uh, you got more than that? Mm -hmm. Keep going. Heal the sick, cleanse the leprous, raise the dead. Cleanse the lepers all. Oh, a lot of them uh, black Hebrew Israelites, they have a problem with the heal the leprous scripture. Because according to them, everybody with leprosy is going into slavery. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You people are retarded out there, man. Because with that leprosy, you got uh, you got Israelites with the. Uh, because originally all the Israelites were dark skinned people, okay? But you got some Israelites who got light skin. They could look like a white person. That comes from a disease called leprosy. It's what the Bible calls leprosy, okay? Uh, but keep going. A lot of Israelites caught leprosy. Keep going. The sick. You can, oh my fault, you can read about the curse of leprosy in the book of Leviticus. What's that, Leviticus uh, 13? Read Leviticus, the whole 13th chapter. That'll break down all the laws on leprosy. The leprosy is a curse for breaking the laws of the Most High. I'll keep going. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils, freely ye have received, freely give. Provide neither gold nor silver, nor brass in your purses, nor stripe for your journey. Neither two coats, neither shoes, nor get stands. So the Lord is saying, just go with what you got. You know what I'm saying? Just have faith. I'll supply everything for you. Keep going. For the workman is worthy of his meat. And in two, whatsoever city or town you shall enter, inquire 
who it is worthy and they're about to go this. Beloved, and when ye come into an house, salute it. And if the house be worthy, let your peace come upon it. Let your peace come upon it. That's why you say shalom, or in the ancient Hebrew, shalom. The shalom or shalom, that means peace. So that, that's, a, that's a common Israelite greeting. You know what I'm saying? Keep going. But if it be not worthy, let your peace return to you. Right. Right, let your, because, yeah, you ain't got to say peace to everybody. Some people, you got to curse the hell out. Keep going. And whosoever shall not receive you, nor hear your, nor hear your words, when ye depart out of that house or city, shake off the dust of your feet. Yeah, so you ain't supposed to waste a, waste all your time with a bunch of dumbasses. If somebody can't get it, fuck them. Move on to the next person. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If somebody can't get it, just fuck them. Move on to the next person. Don't be wasting all day with, with, with somebody you know ain't gonna get it. They can't understand the truth. That means the truth is not for them. It's very simple. And some people just ain't never gonna change. Uh, keep going. Verily I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for the land of Solomon, Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah, Sodom and Gomorrah. So, oh yeah, it's gonna be more more tolerable, tolerable than the Sodom and Gomorrah. So America, the punishment America is gonna receive it's gonna be like five billion times worse than Sodom and Gomorrah. That was only two cities. Well, actually it was more than two. It was actually like five cities that got destroyed. So it was like really about a total of five cities. Sodom and Gomorrah was the main one. Anything around it. <laughs> but, but America has like, name all the different Sodom and Gomorrahs in America. You got Columbus, New York City, San Francisco, <laughs> You got Austin, Texas, Dallas, Texas, oh, Las Vegas, the Sin City. 50 states. Fucking, yeah, 50 states, and every state has multiple Sodom and Gomorrahs up in the motherfuckers, major man. Cities. Yeah, major cities. I mean, where homosexuality and bestiality flourishes. You know what I'm saying? Hey, movie Egyptologists, they should fit in perfect here. Oh, yeah, they, they should love that shit. They fit in perfect with that pedophilia and that, you know, the incestors and the. Uh, Having uh, sex with their sister? That's ancient Egypt history. That is ancient Egypt. Yeah, yeah. No wonder they're so happy here got $2,000 to offer camps and shit. They got them, you know, they fitting in well here. Oh yeah, he's talking about uh, those, what's, your, what's that guy's name? Saad Netter? Saad Netter. This guy actually offered GMS $2,000. He offered GMS $2,000. To go, and that, he's probably making way more than two thousand. How many people sh show up at that like event? How many people show up? At, how much the ticket cost though? Huh, the average ticket. Yeah, how much the ticket cost? You told show. They should do some math on that motherfucker. He's probably trying to hustle the like motherfucker. The, uh, I can imagine my he, he probably yeah. So he just he's just. Yeah, he's trying to hustle. And hey, we're going to have debates out here all the time for free. We debate people all the time. We ain't charge nobody. We ain't never charge nobody to come out here and get no truth. I'll be like, oh, if you want to come in here, oh, you got you got to pay. Nah, man. The truth is be told, right? Not in the building, out here on the streets. And we give it. Yeah. Right, go ahead. I got a script in the back to up on that. Go ahead. Uh, read that man here. I'm gonna see if I can find a scripture on Isaiah. Matthew 10, 16. Behold, I see you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Yeah, okay, uh, like this, that's where I came from. My past before I came into this truth, I was fooling around with them. The black cultures, niggas, you know, you know. And all, it, all, all I was around was nothing but a bunch of wolves, man. I ain't never heard no, no wisdom or some knowledge. I was like, wow, I ain't never heard nothing around those motherfuckers. That, that, I, uh, that was actually enlightening me, you know? But all these niggas were there, a bunch of wolves around, just looking for ways to get paid. But these meetings, they have them here at the, uh, usually at the mosque, and they would charge 10, 20, 30 dollars to get in. It all, it all depends on who came. I, I got a scripture for you to back you up on that. How, how did, they, they, they turn uh, so-called knowledge, they charge them for knowledge. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, got they, the whole purpose to have that debate is just to make some, some quick cash. You know what I'm saying? That's an easy hustle. As long as you got a building big enough to hold some people, and you got some, some projectors or whatever you got. They can fill that building up too. 
Yeah, so that's just a hustle, man. I got a scripture for that, though. Isaiah 55 and 1. Ho, everyone that thirsteth, come ye to the waters. He that hath no money, come ye buy and eat. That's Hold right. up. Right. He did, we ain't got no money. That's I couldn't right. even afford to go to no shit like that. Straight out. I'm for real. I can't afford no $30 to go nowhere. I can't afford to, uh, I can't even afford to go to the, go, go uh, any damn where. You know what I'm saying? 30, 30, I don't know how much they charge for a debate. I know it's too goddamn much. I, if I had enough money, I'd rather go to a concert than go to their bullshit anyway. You know what I'm saying? Catch me at this Who the hell won't go listen to a bunch of Egyptologists talk about? I'll go to get a good laugh. Talking about some some black consciousness. Nah, like, yeah, nah. like I'm consciousness. What the fuck is gotta, black consciousness? You gotta have knowledge of self, when, when son. When everybody in the hood is stuck on stupid, what the fuck is black consciousness? Shit is retarded, man. Black means, uh, uh, black means... Destitute. Fucking, right, right. Yeah. It means void. With no life, right? Yeah. So, what is your black consciousness? That's the two conscience. You see, the it's your fruitful work all through the hood. A bunch of dead souls walking around. Yeah. That yep. black consciousness shit been around since the fucking Marcus Garvey to uh, to uh, uh, Elijah Muhammad to Malcolm X to to uh, Farrakhan's uh, wicked ass. And shit just keeps getting worse. Right. Yeah. It worse it's too. Work. Black Panthers and shit. Just too. When they when I be on YouTube happen to see some of their clips on some bullshit. They got no books open or nothing. They been sitting there at the table talking. Oh yeah, they'll quote a scripture, but they want to actually read the scripture. They got that no is, books. Yeah, they, they deny the Bible, said nothing's in But they'll real. quote it though, all the right, time. There you go. They, they quote, everybody quotes the New Testament more than any other book. The New Testament is the most quoted book in the history of mankind. I don't, give, I don't give a fuck who's teaching or claims to be some kind of leader. They're going, they're going to quote the New Testament and the Old Testament. You can't get around it. You can't give a good speech without quoting the Bible. You know what I'm saying? Obama used uh, Psalms. Yeah, he used all, he quote the Bible multiple times. You know, he's a damn devil. Let me read this scripture again. Isaiah 55 and 1. Ho, everyone that thirsteth, come ye to the waters. Because our people are thirsty, man. It's like our people are out in the damn desert. They like stranded out in the desert with no water. You know, they see in mirages and shit. They thought they seen some water. When they got up close, it was just sand. You know what I'm saying? But it's like an oasis right here. In the midst of a wasteland. You know what I'm saying? In the midst of a wasteland, yeah. It said, ho, everyone that thirsteth, come ye to the waters. And he that hath no money, come ye by and eat. Yea, come. Buy wine and milk without money and without price. That's right. That's just knowledge. It's wisdom. <laughs> you know? And we get to give it away for free. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. We actually, hey, we got a donation jug. It ain't ours to keep anyway. We ain't got a goddamn donation in since five goddamn years. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we ain't making that up. I don't even know why we even bring that damn jug out here. There ain't nothing gonna get put in it. And so we ain't asking nobody for no money, man. Fuck your money. We're going to push this truth out for free. Then we ain't going to charge you a penny. It's free. He said, wherefore do ye spend money for that which is not bread? <laughs> and your labor for that which satisfieth not. Hearken diligently unto me. That's the Lord said, hearken diligently unto him. That goes back to 2 Timothy 2 and 15. A uh, study to show yourself approved. The, 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 to do the work of the Lord means you gotta be diligent. That's why it's called the work of the Lord. It because it's work. You know what I'm saying? Wherefore do ye spend money for that which is not bread, and your labor for that which satisfieth not? Hearken diligently unto me and eat that which is good. And let your soul delight in its fatness. Eat, eat that which is good, leaving all the oh. philosophies alone and shit. Yeah, this is good. All the madness books, the Egyptologies. That, that, yeah, eating, yeah. Leave, bon leave that shit alone. Yeah, eating the Bible, that's got the, the essential vitamins and nutrients. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> eat, uh, yeah. uh, calling yourself an Egyptologist, that's like eating swine's flesh. Mm -hmm. That's like, you know what I'm saying? That's equivalent. Eat, eating gator. Yeah, they eat alligator meat. <laughs> some bat, some 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 bat uh, meat. Awesome. Some possum, some shark fin soup. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it, it is though. Soup. It is though. You know? That's some foul. That's, that's a, some eating foul little shit, little man. crustaceans, like eating 
crabs and lobsters. It's like your body, you feed your body foul shit, your body you deteriorate. You, the same works with your mind, you feed your mind foul shit. Well, I mean, the Egyptologists, they like a catfish, they bottom feeders. Bottom feeders, right. They goddamn bottom feeders. And that shit's unclean from the get, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Shit is not profit. You had a precept? Oh, uh, let me get this and you go back to the man. This is Isaiah 55 and uh, 3. Incline your ear and come unto me. Here and your soul shall live, and I will make an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure mercies of David. Behold, I have given him for a witness to the people, a leader and commander to the people. Uh, I'm actually going to keep going. Behold, thou shalt call a nation that thou knowest not, and nations that knew thee not shall know thee, excuse me, and nations that knew thee not, oh, excuse me, this is tongue twist to me, it's all dark out here, and nations that knew not thee, knew not thee, shall run into thee because of the Lord thy God, and for the Holy One of Israel, for he hath glorified thee. So it says for the Holy One of Israel, okay? It don't say nothing about no damn Osiris. It don't say nothing about none of this other retarded shit these people talking about. It ain't. It don't say you can be a Muslim and call yourself a Muslim. You're talking about Muhammad was the last prophet. Muhammad wasn't no goddamn prophet. Muhammad was a. He, he was a damn heathen, man. He was retarded. Muhammad was illiterate. He couldn't even read. Here it is. They say Muhammad was the greatest prophet, but they say he didn't even write the Quran. But they say the, the way who the hell wrote it is. They say that Muhammad wrote it, but he didn't write it. Well, which one is it? Did he write it or did he ain't write it? Yeah, make your shit. Uh, yeah, go ahead with that. Oh, yeah, Matthew. Matthew 10 and 17. Yeah, Matthew good. 10 and 16. Behold, I see you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Yeah, because we in the midst of savages. You know what I'm saying? All these people out here, these motherfuckers are savages. Our people, Israel, are a bunch of goddamn savages. Uh, a bunch of sophomores uh, beat down, a, uh, attack the cop. Attack the cop. They going crazy. Beat his ass. They beat his ass, too. Now, now the school is circle every day. Yeah, these young kids, they don't scared of this. She don't want to be around the Oh, I don't know. She don't feel comfortable around that shit. Yeah, I know. She's something her spirit is telling her something, man. He his ass, man. These motherfuckers act like savages. They, I mean, their authority, the lock house is authority and shit. For the most part, you should, you know, be law-abiding citizens. Otherwise, they're gonna fuck your ass up. <laughs> you, you can't. You cannot win against the cops. Okay, you ain't gonna pull. You ain't gonna pull no John Rambo shit like on First Blood. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> even, even, even he couldn't win. He got fucked up. So that's why you got call on the Lord. That's why you can't get carnal, thinking you are gonna take out the cops. Oh, we about to stage a revolution, y'all. Right, right. You know they should know better because the videos is on YouTube. Oh. They should be watching how to get instructions on how to act and behave. That's like that Sarah Sue said, and them, them African motherfuckers, mm -hmm. they think everything physically. They're not spiritual. The only thing they think of is in the spiritual. Uh, uh, they live in a physical plane. They don't live in a spiritual plane. Right. They all, all they care about is numbers. They think they're going to gather up some kind of army, and then they're going to rebel, and then they're going to form their own state, their own sovereign state. Y'all some stupid motherfuckers, man. If you think in that shit, if you think that you can stage a revolution, you fucking high on PCP. You gonna get put down. Well, them two thirdologists, they gonna get their chance for the vote. They gonna get their chance. Oh, for they gonna the get they, they gonna get put down too. You know? Just like all these patriot people, all these Ron Paul motherfuckers, these uh, constitutionalists, these uh, what's the what's the word I want to use? The uh, the don't tread on me people. The uh, well, you know what's another word for them? The, yeah, you know what I mean. I know what you're talking about. All these goddamn patriots are talking about, oh, uh, talking about, oh, we gotta protect the Constitution. Well, I'll, I'll put my life on the line protecting that Constitution, brother. And they actually think they're gonna stage a revolution. They're gonna get fucked up. 
I, I, ain't you seen those DARPA robots? DARPA's got goddamn robots that will fucking kill you. They got cyborgs. Two and four legs. Yeah, they got two-legged robots, four-legged robots. They got motherfucking predator drones. They can release that shit in the theater. That's really all they, that's what Barack Obama was bragging. Cause they was like, they said that he was scaling back the military or something. But he said, I got two words for you, predator drones. Hey, I got two words for you, predator drones. Cause they don't even need a full army like they did uh, 20, 30 years ago. They can just blow your ass up with robots. You know what I'm saying? They just send a, send a goddamn remote control plane to your house and blow you the fuck up. That's wrong. Y'all ain't got remote control planes up in the hood. Y'all got motherfucking drones and shit with missiles on it. If y'all got that, holler. You, you know what I'm saying? Remote control shit they done got from uh, Toys R Us or something. Do y'all have jet fighters and aircraft carriers yeah, up in the man. hood? Talking about you going to stage a revolution. You stupid as hell, man. <laughs> you dumb, stupid motherfuckers, man. You'll get blown to smithereens. Personally, I say good for you. Hey, you Keep should do it. Y'all should fight, though. Keep up the good work. No, yeah, we hope y'all do do that, though. Yeah, we ain't gonna do that. We, we ain't gonna... Like, when there's... The Civil War's about to break out. You can feel it. The Civil War, race war, all the same shit. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna have this race war gonna break out. That's gonna be beautiful, too, man. That's gonna, that's gonna be for two-thirds getting caught up in all that madness. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore, uh, well, let me start at 11. Uh, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto the death. Oh, yeah, we, we love not our lives. That's like in Luke the 19th chapter. Look at that, Luke the 19th. They said in a couple of spots where the Lord says, uh, he that lo loves his life shall lose it. Get that too. He that loveth his life shall lose it. What is it? Is that Matthew 12, maybe? I'll see if I can find it. I can't remember off the right, top of my right, brain. Right. I read that like all the time. Oh, uh, go ahead. Uh, Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. Woe to all you people. If you ain't right to, with the Most High, woe be unto you. He go on. Woe to the inhabitants, inhabitants of the sea and the earth and the sea, for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath, because he knows that he has but a short time. Right, if we got the devil knows he got a short time. That's talking about the so-called white man, the government, the, the, the U, U.S. government. Barack Obama, he, he's not black. Barack Obama's not black. He's part of that devil. He's the devil. You know what I'm saying? But he knows he only got a short time. Go ahead. Matthew 10 and 17. But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils, and they will scourge you in their synagogues. Yeah, the people will call it. If you come out and teach the Bible, people will call the cops on you. They'll call the cops on us for teaching the Bible, but you'll see two faggots walking down the street holding hands. You know what I'm saying? Don't call the cops on us for teaching the Bible, but you'll have a devil worshiper walking down the street with pentagrams on his chest. Say, openly saying he worships the devil and he's allowed to walk around free. Matthews. What kind of goddamn sense does that make? Oh, well, we're don't call the cops on us for teaching the Bible, but you have a goddamn Muslim walking down the street. I mean, that should be illegal. And it is illegal. The Bible says it's illegal. The Bible says, your ass is, uh, get stoned with stones for that shit, man. You're supposed to stone a motherfucker for that. You can you have goddamn faggots walking down the street wearing some uh, skinny ass fucking Daisy Dukes. We have actual faggots wearing Daisy Dukes, French kissing each other, but don't call the cops on us. What kind of fucking, read that again, man. Matthews 10 and 17. But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils, and they will scourge you in their synagogues. And ye shall be brought before governors and kings for mass sake, for testimony against them and the Gentiles. Are you, you hear right now that anybody who believes in the Bible now is getting persecuted. Y'all notice that's all through the news. They're getting killed. Actually, over there in the uh, Middle Eastern countries, 
children. If you, if you believe in the one they call Jesus over in the Middle East right now, you're getting slaughtered. And, so, and they're trying to bring that over here. You know what I'm saying? They want to bring that to America. You go ahead. But when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what ye shall speak, for it shall be given you in that same hour what ye shall speak. For it is not ye that speak, but the spirit of your father which speaketh in you. Yeah, so that's the spirit of the father that's in us. So we don't we don't be planning lessons before we come out. Like before we came out here talking today, I had we had no idea what we was gonna go into. We just come out here, just do the spirit, spirit, and the spirit just bring it all out. Yeah, we're spiritual men. Ain't nothing about this calling. Spiritual. Yep. You know? That's why it flows out like water continues. Yep. You know? what it is we got a leak in our fault so that knowledge is just coming out even when we ain't out here teaching we just walking you know what i mean just walking it's still coming out that's our whole pleasure. conversation you know what i mean our whole conversation that's it it's the spirit our very lives is in the spirit man which is average this ain't for anybody any damn way Both, Hell you no. know everybody the normal motherfucker two-third nigga be looking for all kind of comfort man other than people put man Grinding everybody. Oh, Matthew 10 and 21. And the brother shall deliver up the brother to death, mm. and the father the child, oh, yeah. and the children shall rise up against their parents. There ain't no loyalty in this society. Family, in America, families don't stick together. Friends don't stick together. Everybody for their fucking self. Your family's not your family. No, your family is not your not family. On this side. No, not hell on this no. side. Not on this side. I done seen family after family molest their, their nieces and nephews and brothers and sisters, man. That ain't family. Family don't behave in that uh, 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 beastly manner. But it was, you, they know your family gonna listen to you when you try to teach them the Bible. So when you family, try to you try to show them the right ways of the Bible, they'll never listen to you. My family laughed me to storm, bro. My dad told me to get the fuck out of his house. Oh yeah, especially you, you, know? you tell them to stop eating pork, they look at you like you're stupid. Like you said something wrong. Yeah. It's like, I raised you better than that. Huh? It's like telling them not to eat pork. It's like we're pork. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's like you said something evil. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, if you don't if you don't celebrate Christmas, your family will look at you like you're being evil. Like, why? Why the fuck ain't you celebrate Christmas, motherfucker? Well, you too good for Christmas? Like, yeah, I am, actually. My family still lies to this day to say I'm eating shit. <laughs> they still lie to this day. Eat some Thanksgiving is what next week, man. And uh, yeah, you know my mom and dad's crib, man. That, it's gonna, that's gonna be the main plate. It's chitlins. They don't have turkey, hand and all that shit. Uh, chitlins is what everybody's coming over here to eat, man. Who the fuck will eat that shit? You don't know Kelly Buster Douglas? Yeah. Uh, he probably be over there. Uh, Jerry Page. <laughs> He's all the four boxers, man. My family yeah. is a boxing family. Man. Buster Douglas. You know, they all be over there, man. They probably I was, they might stop in, you know, for a minute. I remember when I was a little kid. I was in I was in a motherfucking sixth or seventh grade when Buster Douglas knocked out Mike Tyson. I was mad. I was mad as hell too. <laughs> I was like, I didn't even know who the fuck Buster Douglas was. I just wanted to see someone get knocked out. Yeah, I do this I grew up with a total family. Um, I was still I still didn't like him. He was a bad motherfucker though. He, got, he has skills, man. Boxing, he has some serious skills. Hey, uh, but he yeah. wasn't no Tyson. Hey, your boy brother Polite should be down with Mike Tyson. He got tattoos on his face yeah, and shit. Yeah, they got something in common, yeah. <laughs> both of them stuck and stupid. They both some weirdos. Right, they're creepy. They're creepy niggas. Creepy as all fucking hell. Fucking Oh, you got more than that? Matthews 10, 22. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. That's why everybody hates us. No, nobody like us. Everybody got a problem with what we say. Like you see, we made a billion videos, man. Talked to a billion different women. Almost every, actually not almost, every last woman I think we've ever talked to has had a problem with the words in the Bible. They, they have a problem with it. Every last one of them. Every There's yeah, not a single woman has ever agreed with that, all the words that we said. I'm working the name of the house of Hashem outside that, that car blows up. Man, that shit sounds terrible. Yeah. Right, we were about to you know hit that saying? face with a big drop. Blue. Right, <laughs> but because it's a fucking train track and the train just comes out of nowhere and does its business. 
Hey, read that city. Uh, excuse me, read that again. Matthew 10 and 22. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that endureth to the end shall be saved. It will be hated for the Lord's name's sake, okay? Keep going. You, you hate the word of the Lord, man. Your mind is polluted, man. Yeah, you definitely polluted. You know, something fucking wrong with you. You have a polluted mind. Yeah, yeah. God, like you said, you're a savage. You're an uncivilized brute beast. You're a goddamn uh, scoundrel. Uh, yeah, she was a hot Matthew 10, 10 and 23. But when they persecute you in this city, flee ye into another, for verily I say unto you, ye shall not have gone over the cities of Israel till the Son of Man be come. This is Micah 2, Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Oh yeah, America is not your rest. Actually, that's obvious. You ain't getting no rest out here. You got to work every goddamn day. In America, you got to work six days a week just to, just to pay your goddamn rent. I know people are just seven days a week. That's all people do, eat, sleep, and work. They have no time to even enjoy life. You're a goddamn slave. That's the American dream, though, right? And you ain't making shit at these jobs. Either. These jobs ain't paying you a goddamn thing. And then, before you even get your paycheck, the government takes half your check out. The goddamn IRS robs your ass before you even get a check. He so robs your ass. You get fucking robbed. That's not robbery. I don't know what the fuck. If I did that to you, I'd go to jail. But if you don't pay the IRS, what happens? They gonna come after your ass with some guns. They gonna kick down your door and they gonna lock your ass up. Go ahead. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you even with a sour destruction. Yeah, you get destroyed. Look at that. Look at these neighbors. America's destroyed. Look at all these people. They all destroyed. They, they all destroyed. You say that uh, the construction is like a great deep. Like oh, you thought uh, America's uh, infrastructure. That's the bridges, the roads, you know. You know, the, the gas lines. That, you know, all these buildings got they gas falling lines. apart. It's all right. It's decayed. Yeah, it's decayed. Yeah. It's decayed. It's Everything's decayed. falling apart, man. Yeah. All them old ass buildings built back in the 40s. All these old ass bitches. Oh yeah. And yeah, these bitches is worn out. It's <laughs> like the roads. <laughs> they got tire tracks all over man. Oh, like Rodney Dangerfield said, he was like, these women, they can sell their pussy, but they get it right back when they're done with it. <laughs> oh yeah. He said, oh yeah, he's talking about how that was a good business. And the bitch, he said that's a good product to sell because she, we gotta find that clip, yeah. When they sell it, they get it right back when they're done. What the fuck? Yeah, we was watching Ronnie Dangerfield last night. Now, Ronnie Day. Oh, that's a... What was Ronnie Dangerfield? Was he a so-called Jew? Well, I, mean, I know he's a Jake, though. He's a talent. That's a talent. Was he a talent? He's a talent. Yeah, that's my dude. I wasn't even sure, man, but he, you know, he is Israelite. He's a straight up brother. Yeah, he was he's a talent. That's brother. You know, when y'all was watching that, I was watching Archie Bunker. Oh, for real? Carol O'Connor. Oh, yeah. Now, you know, he, I remember that when I was a little kid. You, you, you were talking, if you like kids, he's a right here, and in fact, you had his back to him, he was talking, yeah. you think he was being a black man. And everybody he tried to say, cool as fuck. everybody yeah. tried to say that it was racist. Nah, he, he, oh, was, yeah, I know. he was very sensitive. Cause he actually fought that shit on the streets, man. Archie Bunker, he had a history in the civil rights movement, which a civil rights movement is bullshit that the Jews started, but still, you know, he, was, he did have some concern about it. Though. I was I remember Archie Bunker, that goddamn song that old bitch was singing. What? What's that? The beginning yeah, of the song. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Edith, Edith, uh, Edith, Edith, his wife Edith. That's all, that's all I remember about that show. Men were men and whatever. I can't, I can't. <laughs> That's my shit though, Archie Bunker. Archie Bunker Bunker. That's my shit. And you know he and Jake, because his son died uh, in drug uh, doing dope. Oh, yeah. Drugs over dope. Only Jake's died like that. Jake man. loves some dope. Yeah. Jake loves getting fucked up. That's Jake, bro. But it's obviously he and Jake. <laughs> Archie Bunker. You got more to that? Bring that. Keep reading that. That's a, that's a good story. I'm going to read that whole chapter. 
Which one are you talking about? Matthew 10, to the chapter. Uh, Matthew 10 and uh, 26. Fear them not, therefore, for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed and hid that shall not be known. Yeah, so the, that's why we out here to expose all this wickedness, man. Sure. So, like, like, what's that scripture on Obadiah? It said that, he, he get that, man. Uh, the things that Esau's been searched out. Mm -hmm. That's like all the all these scandals is getting brought out, man. Like, we bringing out all this different, all these conspiracy theories, okay? Because we talk about conspiracy theories all the time. The secrets of Esau searched out. Yeah. Like, right now, we on the anniversary of the JFK assassination. They, so about to come out. Oh yeah, they, they get real. Yeah, yeah. But the government get real pissed off right now because it, 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 that nobody believes in the official story of Jeff Cato. Now I don't think I, I nobody. Everybody knows it was a conspiracy. Now, okay, ain't nobody buying that Lee Harvey Oswald bullshit. Just like ain't nobody buying that 9/11 uh, bullshit. And no, don't nobody believe the official 9/11 story. The devil deceives you. That's what it means. Deceives. Look, what you got? Go ahead, bring that out. No. The end of your nation, yeah. America. The Lord's about to destroy America. Kiss that shit goodbye. Yeah. Get your last smile over <laughs> Smiling motherfuckers. Don't got no reason to smile, but they smile. No reason. Shit, they're going to be gnashing their goddamn teeth. Here the motherfucking nation no, got it. Right, here the fucking nation juggler vein they cut. It ain't no saving in the nation, motherfucker. I just heard Russia, fucking didn't they say Russia was about to ban American dollars? Yeah, yeah, they've been done. Well, yeah, well, you yeah, know, but they really about to do it because yeah, they're yeah, scared. Because, yeah, yeah. you know, they have to hold yeah. the sun. Right. You know, they, 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 they release it. They dumping it all now. That's uh, what Russia said. Yeah, they're well, yeah, because they got to, they still, you know. They don't want to deal with no. Yeah, they don't want to deal with it at all. Yeah. That's what all the mother nations doing right now. They're, uh, the, they call it de-Americanizing. Yeah, de-Americanizing. You know, some shit right there. You want that Obadiah? Oh, uh, yeah, they did that. This is Obadiah uh, 6. The things of Esau searched out. Esau searched out. That's talking about the so-called white man, starting with uh, the so-called Jews over there in the state of Israel, and they control America too. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And they control the news, like uh, Wolf Blitzer. You know Wolf Blitzer on CNN? Goddamn Jew, a Jew motherfucker, man. And they're not the real Jews. They're not. He's not even a Jew. He's a goddamn Edomite. Mm -hmm. But the Jews, they control all the media, they control all the news, they control Hollywood, they control the government. You know what I'm saying? All that, like, we was just talking about JFK. We was just talking about the JFK assassination. Like, everybody knows Lyndon B. Johnson had a hand in that assassination. And it's because we, we done found out that Lyndon B. Johnson is a crypto Jew. Lyndon B. Johnson. He's a secret Jew. Lyndon B. Johnson is actually a Jew. They all down on that shit. They all, yeah, they all on with that shit. I read that again. This one come out though, the full facts. Oh, how, are the things, how are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought up? They searching that shit out right now down there in Dallas, ain't they? You got all kind of people down in Dallas questioning people about uh, the JFK assassination. Just like you got all kind of people questioning the government about 9-11. And they getting real uneasy, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Is that... Yo, what's up? Teaching the Bible. You believe in the Bible? Absolutely. Oh, for real? Well, we have 100% truth. Go ahead. All of the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee. He prepared... Oh, hold on, read that again. Um, all, all the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee. Right, like America. It's talking about America. All of America's allies who they was at peace with have deceived them. That's already started to happen, like in Syria. Obama wanted to bomb the shit out of Syria. <laughs> but they needed England, or excuse me, they needed the United Kingdom they needed the United Kingdom to back them, because you can't do nothing without the UK. And the UK turned their back on their asses, man. The United Kingdom turned their back on America and said, no, we're not going to help you. And you're going to see a lot more that a lot of nations going to turn their back on America. Pe nations that was once allies, they're going to turn their back. Like the Japanese, they, ever since the end of World War II, 
you know, they've been America's allies, but they, they got a real secret hatred for this country, man. They remember them damn bombs you dropped on them. They, they gonna turn on America. You know what I'm saying? All these countries that's allies with America, they're going to turn on your ass, man. Sure is. The, the countries that you least suspect. Germany's turning on your ass. They, Germany found out America was spying on them. They, they, you know what I'm saying? They're right. And Germany, they got some of the... They, they got some, some good weapons, too. They supplying Israel with nuclear-powered submarines. So, Germany got some nukes. They had to nuke your ass right along with Russia. Man, they build them nukes every day, man. They get ready for this shit. They get ready for this shit. When the missiles fly, they gonna fly. Yeah, they gonna fly. That's a, that's an underdog too. You know we ever talk about Germany that much? Cause Germany, they got some shit for your ass too. Go ahead. Sure, Japan. Japan. Japan got that. That's where the engineers is at, huh? Germany and Japan. Yeah, yeah. And Russia got some engineers too. Yeah. But so uh, you gonna get a lot of surprises when you find out. When these people really start coming out, coming out against these people, this, this nation. Right? Then, uh, Japan just rolled out with that big ass new battleship. Sure did. And like we was talking right before we came up to the camp earlier, uh, Iran. They said Iran or uh, having war games. They, they have. Uh, they're they're practicing. They're going to be having war games for the next year. Damn. You know what I'm saying? They get ready. They everybody's getting ready for World War Three, man. Right along with NATO. Huh? Made over 40,000 troops. Yep. Y'all only out here on seven days. Yeah, we should. We gonna, I wish we could get out here every day. Y'all folks know I gotta stop and say hi. <laughs> right, what's, yeah. up? what's up, bro? What's up, bro? I'm right, folks. Let me get that switch. Oh, go ahead. Let's stop. Flex y'all, man. I'm about to get on down the road. They said it's supposed to rain. Get on down, get on down. Ease on down, ease on down. Ease on down. <laughs> ease on down. <laughs> Love y'all, man. Y'all are good. Right, well, later. Not who? Three and four. Because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the well favored harlot, mm. oh, the that's... mistress of witchcraft. Mm. That, that's America. That selleth nations through her whoredoms. Huh. And sells, ain't, that through what, her... ain't that what America sells nations? They they go, how do you think we get all this all these cheap merchandise in America? All your Nikes, all your Nike clothes, your Nike shoes. They made by some little slaves up in Indonesia. You know what I'm saying? Up in, you ever hear of sweatshops? You know what I'm saying? America got the whole country in slavery, bro. The whole, the whole, not the whole country, the whole world. The whole damn world is under what? It's falling apart though. They losing their grip. You know what I'm saying? Like you were saying earlier, all these countries are dropping the dollar now. Go ahead. Now, who three and four? Because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the wealthy harlot. And the whore in America, you can do, you can do, you can engage in any manner of hoarding possible. You can be a faggot. You can get your dick chopped off. A man can get breast implants. You know what I'm saying? You got actual men walk around with titties. You know what I'm saying? So weird shit going on. Fucking bestiality. Right here on High Street. They got gay bars. They got fucking gay bars. Yeah, on. every time you leave camp, it's a transsexual in Cleveland Avenue. The same same spot. spot. I believe it's making money too. Yeah, yeah. Probably yeah. getting paid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! The motherfucker got clean clothes on, like, yeah. like he buying new shit. This motherfucker is. And it's a transsexual Cause you, man. You got a lot of men. Who, who's into that fucking yeah, weird shit, man? Yep, and they'll, yep. pay, they'll pay good money just to get with a transsexual. Yeah, just like some weird shit. Getting with these little, looking for little boys. They'll pay for it too. Right, they love these transsexuals. Cause you, you got little boy whorehouses hidden in the cut out here, That's man. That's crazy, ain't it? That's America. That's fucking great America. You know he don't just watch some child porn today. Well, that's why they, <laughs> like they had that. When they push a uh, uh, homosexual. You know they they push homosexuality on your children in school. Like Barack Obama said that we gotta teach uh, sex ed to children in kindergarten. You know what I'm saying? It's okay to be a faggot in the Marines. It's okay to be a faggot in the Boy Scouts. They actually had a meeting that, and they actually said, yes, you can be a faggot in the Boy Scouts. So when your little uh, Billy boy is going on a camping trick, he's getting fucked in the ass. The scout master's raping him up in the tent. With his you know consent, what I'm saying? With his he gonna show him how to tie some knots. He gonna tie his ass up or rape him. You know what I'm saying? You gonna have, there's all kind of sick shit going on out here. Just like Elmo, I gotta say it over and over again. Elmo got caught raping little boys. 
Here it is, Elmo is the number one, Sesame Street's the number one children's show that y'all let your children watch. And Elmo, the most beloved character, got caught raping little boys. Man, ain't, we ain't making this shit up. This is real life, we live in reality. Y'all in goddamn fantasy land. The whole, the whole country's run by goddamn child molesters and fucking devil worshipers. I wonder if that nigga was a terror anyway. Why he hey, he's a goddamn, he do like an Edomite. I don't know. But then again, that takes skills to do that. Yeah, you're right, too. That to be a puppeteer, that does take skill. That means Jim Henson, he was a big faggot, too, man. He, he's, he probably, you know, right before Jim Henson died, he probably died of AIDS. They probably lied about what he died from. Big faggot, man. That's actual fact. You can look it up. Elmo got caught raping little boys. Uh, then they settled out of court. The Sesame Street Club, they'll pay any amount of dollars to sweep that under the rug. You know what I'm saying? Hey, this is like the Catholic Church always paying people off. There's all these priests raping little boys. So why we got people in high positions of authority and you got, you got real famous people always getting caught raping little boys? What kind of fucking, fucking sick shit are we living in, man? Go ahead with that. Did you guys get bored? Shut your ass up. Go ahead. <laughs> the mistress of witchcraft that set up nations through whoredoms and families through her witchcraft. See, like, that's part of them whores with that dumbass bitch running her mouth on a bike. They do a ride by, drive by scoffing at us. fall off that shit. Yeah, you gonna look back at us and crash into a telephone pole. Look at here. On that bike. Drive by scoffers, okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Behold, I am against thee, says the Lord of hosts. The Lord is against y'all heathens, man. He against y'all, y'all raggedy motherfuckers, man. Against y'all brute beasts, you damn savages. Look at these people, man. They're filthy as hell. Go ahead. And I will discover thy skirts upon thy face, and I will show the nations thy nakedness and the kingdoms thy shame. Yeah, right. That's all nations are coming against America right now. Especially with that Eric Snowden shit. And the American government getting caught up in all kinds of scandals. Now the whole damn world hates this country. And they about to fuck this country up. Hey, America don't there's no hope for this place. This motherfucker's about to be destroyed. Go ahead. And I will cast abominable filth upon thee. Abominable filth upon thee. Keep on. And make thee bow and will set thee as a gazing stock. Hey, America's gonna be turned into a gazing stock. You know what I'm saying? It's just, you're gonna be astonished when you see the destruction. It's gonna be amazing. Oh yeah, yeah, go back to that mask. Go back to that mask. And 10, the Lord hath made bare his holy arm in the eyes of all the nations, and all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our power. Depart ye, depart ye, go ye out from thence, touch no unclean thing, go ye out of the midst of her. Be ye clean that bear the vessels of the Lord, for ye shall not go out with haste, nor go by flight, for the Lord will go before you, and the power of Israel will be your re uh, rear ward. Behold, my servant shall deal prudently. He shall be exalted and extolled and be very high. As many were astonished, astonished at thee, his visage was so marred more than any man, and his form more than the sons of men. So shall he sprinkle many nations the king shall shut their mouths at him, for that which had not been told, them shall they see, and that they had not heard, shall they consider. That's a, That's a pretty good scripture. They say like all the, like you said, all the kings of the earth they gonna come against America, man. They like, they got Saudi Arabia is turning their backs on America right now. You hear about that? It was in the news. Who? Saudi Arabia? Yeah, well, they claiming they turned. Is they mad? Saudi Arabia is mad as hell so that Obama Iran didn't go into Syria. Because yeah, they, they mad because they, they hate Iran. Well, yeah, because uh, Saudi Arabia, they Sunnis, and uh, Iran and Syria are Shiites. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, uh, Saudi Arabia and America have been partners for the longest. You know what I'm saying? Now, you see pictures of Obama kissing the Saudi uh, king's ring. Bowing down, you, Obama bowed down to the Saudi king. He bowed. You seen that, didn't you? You seen the picture of Obama bowing to the Saudi king? 
They got pictures of they got pictures of Obama kissing his ring. Wow. They they just like you always see pictures of uh, 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 the Bush family, Bush Senior and Junior hanging out with the Saudi royalty all the time. They're b real good friends, just like the Bushes were real good friends with the Bin Laden family because they're Saudi and Arabian also. But now Saudi Arabia is turning their back on your asses, man. And, they, and they're getting missiles from Pakistan. They said they about to get some missiles from Pakistan, and they're going to shoot missiles on your motherfuckers, too. Did you remember what that was in Revelation 18? Uh, no. oh, that's what I'm about to Was it in Revelation? No. Uh, well, she, you, you, earlier, you pulled one out in Revelation. I just wanted to turn Don't worry about it. Though. I ain't read Revelation today. He was with uh, Matthew. Uh, he was in Nahum. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now go back to that Matthew 2. Or you got more to that, or what do you got? I'm a Revelation man. Well, read that. We'll get back to that. So we'll get this, then we'll get back to that. Okay, Revelation 18 and, and 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. Uh, he said, I heard a voice coming out of heaven. Okay, that's talking about the so called UFOs. The voice coming out of heaven, that, that, that's, that's, that's talking about when the Lord comes back out the clouds with those uh, legions of angels with the chariots, okay? And the whole, like he was reading earlier, what was that last scripture you read before that? Was that uh, Isaiah 52? Isaiah 52, when it said uh, the, the, whole, the whole earth is going to see our salvation. Because the whole earth is going to see the Lord return because the sky is going to be filled with them chariots. Uh, read that again. Um, and I heard... Another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. Because that, what that's talking about, this is talking about right before the destruction. Right before that destruction happened, the Lord is going to come out the heavens and he's going to say, Come out of her, my people. And then we all going to get the, 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 one, the, the people of Israel who the Lord has chosen, the elected Israel, we're going to get beamed up. You know what I'm saying? And one third of Israel is going to get beamed up. We're going to get beamed up like Scott.